Hey everybody, welcome back to Lucky Day Farm. Um, it's about zero degrees tonight in Minnesota here. Uh, it's gonna get down to minus 10. Uh, it's gonna be a cold week, looking at uh, negative temperatures every night. So we'll be stalling the boys every night. Uh, so this week we'll be doing some video of us doing the chores and maybe doing some video of us uh, explaining our horses and what type of horses we have and what we feed them. So let's have fun. Come on. So Brad asked me tonight to kind of show you what I like to do with our horses. Um, both of our guys are 10 year old Tennessee walkers. Um, both are built extremely different. And so with that, it, their feeding needs are obviously quite a bit different as well. Um, in the winter, you know, we try our best to, to give them their own feed. Sometimes we throw hay out. Um, if I can leave the horses out, I like to do that. But with the temperatures in Minnesota this week, there's no choice, we bring them in. I'm a strategy fan. Um, I really think it has the right amount of protein, um, the amino acids that the horses need. Um, Brad, if you want to come with me here, I'm going to show you our our walker. Uh, this is Jack, and he is he is extremely thin. Um, his withers. I even have to use a special pad on him. If you look at him from the front, he's just extremely narrow. Uh, not that you can feel any ribs or anything like that, but he is just a little bit of a, I wouldn't say a hard keeper, he's just naturally a thin horse. Uh, very, very active. When I ride him in the summer, he becomes just muscular and, and super healthy. So the strategy works really well for him. Then on top of that, I give each of the horses about 17 pounds of hay a day. Um, that seems to work really well. He obviously gets an extra slice uh, more than Finnegan will, and, and you're about to see why. Finnegan holds his weight really, really well. So I'm gonna throw this in his hay maker that my amazing husband built for me. And then I'm gonna take you next door, and I just wanna show you the difference between our walkers. This is Finnegan. He's also a 10-year-old uh, walker. But he is built really, really thick. Uh, very easy to ride. Obviously, you can put any saddle you want on him. But he gets this hay belly. I do give him less calories. He's just obviously less active as well. But I'm a fan of strategy. Everyone has their own thing. Karina puts out a lot of good products. Uh, but that's what I like for our horses. It keeps them really healthy. They're very shiny. If you look at their fur and their manes, um, they're extremely healthy even in the middle of the winter. So. That's what I do. So Brad asked me to let you know how I feed and what I feed, and that's what we've got. Have a great night. Isn't she a beautiful guest? All right, so Brad asked me to talk a little bit about our hay. Um, I know that horse people are picky. Um, I go through Dallas Miller in Cannon Falls, Minnesota. He just does a really great product. Um, as you look through our hay, there's a lot of alfalfa in here, but just the right amount, in my opinion. Uh, there's a lot of Timothy, dry Timothy, and uh, grass in there as well. Um, I find that geldings with too much alfalfa um, actually can run into some problems. So once you find a farmer that you like, uh, order your hay the next year. Um, that's always kind of a good tip. Um, some people bounce around from farmer to farmer trying to look for the best deal. And I have found if you commit to a farmer and really um, they know that you're going to be a constant however many bales of hay you order, uh, you run into better luck that way. Um, ideally, I would love to do big squares or big rounds, but that's just not possible. Uh, Brad's going to take you upstairs and show you our hay mound. Uh, we don't have the, the space down here to put the big... Um, the big bales. So for us, the small squares work. Um, I come out about 4 a.m. every morning and do chores, and this size bale works well for, for me. I'm not all that tall, so uh, they work well. But All right, we'll see you in the hay mound. All right, everybody, just got done throwing down hay. Um, 
Here is our hayloft or hay mall, hay mound, whatever everybody calls it. Everybody's got a kind of a little different name for it, but uh, we can fit about, boy, I bet you we can fit a thousand bales up here. Um, this year we ordered about 200, filled up maybe, maybe a third of the floor. Um, we only went about four high, so we got plenty of room up here to stock up on hay if we decide to get in more horses or any other animal that eats hay. So uh, it's pretty nice up here. Uh All right, hey everybody. So down at the well getting some water tonight. So uh, it's a nice night. It's pretty nice and uh, nice clear night down in here in Cannon Falls, Minnesota. Uh, just gonna get some water here, bring it up to the boys. So I'll just give everybody kind of an example of what I what I gotta do to get water. Um, just takes a few minutes. Um, this well is pretty amazing. Uh, it's been down well under well under zero a few times, and uh, this thing has not frozen. Um, right now it's below zero already. I think it's like three or four below right now. And this thing, as you can hear it, it is not frozen. All right, so there's my my water. Uh, like I said, it is uh, about four below right now. And look at that, not frozen at all. Pretty sweet. So I got my bucket here. I'm gonna walk up to the, walk this back up to the barn. I'm actually gonna walk around to the front. Uh, kinda got a lot of snow in the back of the barn right now. A little harder to walk up that hill. So right now I'm just gonna walk through the gate here and up to the front of the, front of the barn. Hope everybody is uh, enjoying the video here. Get a little taste of uh, farm life here on the Lucky Day Farm. Here we got Scotty. Scotty, say hi. Hey, buddy. Help with chores. She loves to help with chores. Boys are still eating their hay there. All right, so it's wrapping up chores tonight, guys and hey, ladies. Uh, just the last thing to do is uh, clean up the barn here a little bit. Uh, after chores this morning and tonight, uh, it gets a little messy, so I'm just gonna sweep things up and uh, fill up my uh, bin of a uh, little bit of manure that's happened over the last day. Well, let's have fun doing this. Hey folks, did chores with everybody last night. Uh, got a full Kubota here to go dump in the woods. But uh, this thing just fired right up. Hasn't been started in over a week. It's been really cold. It's cold right now. Uh, just wanted to give everybody a, just an update on how, what a rock this, this sidekick is. So let's go take a trip to the woods and go dump this manure. Everybody enjoyed our uh, video this week. Definitely a cold one. Um, if everybody could uh, subscribe, if you could, that'd be awesome. Um, hope everybody had a really good chance uh, to see how we do things here at Lucky Day Farm. We feel uh, really privileged to live on this beautiful property right here on the Cannon River. Um, wildlife, farm life, everything's just awesome here. 
Um, hope everybody has a happy and a lucky day. See you next week.